There are two things you need to keep in mind when you're thinking about posters. First of all, a poster is not a report. Second, a poster is not a presentation. A poster is something different. So, in order to understand this distinction, let's define a report. Well, to me, I think a report is anything that conveys important information. So whoever your stakeholders are, and it could take on multiple forms, but any, any type of document or presentation or, um, or any deliverable that, that conveys information to people who need to know that information. That's how I think of a report. Well, a report is a stand alone document that communicates something complete through writing and other graphics that are reproduced on paper. That seems like a very silly definition, I know. But it points out the distinction. Whether a, it's a progress report, a proposal, or a final report, a document in writing reproduced on paper must be complete. It must attempt to answer all of the reader's questions. Why? Because there's no one there to ask questions of. So let's think of an example. A progress report. If I am completing a progress report that must discuss everything between these two dates, I have parameters, I have a reporting period. When I finish discussing everything that was completed between those two dates, my reader should not be left with the question, what about Milestone 2? He was supposed to discuss Milestone 2. The author didn't. What do I do? So, I have to attempt to address all of the audience's concerns on my piece of paper. It must be complete. Why do I have to try to address all of their possible questions? Because there's no one there to ask questions of. The author of the document may be halfway around the globe with no means of access. Therefore, as the author, I must make my reports, whatever written documents they are, they must be complete. They stand alone by themselves. They do not accompany anything else. A presentation is very different from a report. A presentation would be um, conveying that information to your stakeholders and it's most likely going to be in an oral form or, or an audio form but where the people who are involved in collecting that information come and present that to again your stakeholders to the people who, who need to know that information. A presentation is meant to be done in conjunction with a presenter. So there may be slides, there may be a PowerPoint part portion of a presentation, but the presenter is the one giving most of the information. So when people ask me for my slides, I generally tell them, sure, you may look at my slides, but you need to realize it only tells half the story. The, the slides themselves are really just my notes. Most of the information is in me, my, the presenter's head. So a presentation is often accompanied by questions. There is someone there to ask questions of. So as a presenter, sometimes what I do, here's a trick for you, is I have other slides at the end of my pre presentation that I won't actually cover during the presentation itself, but I think my audience may ask questions about it. It doesn't need to be covered in the presentation, but if the audience has questions, I can have additional information. So I don't have to attempt to answer all of the reader's questions during my presentation. They may have questions afterwards. A report cannot do that. There's no one there. So a report is a standalone document. A presentation never stands alone. It is done in conjunction with a presenter. 
A poster is something between the two. Poster is pretty unique in that you're really limited to real estate. <clears throat> I think of a poster as being one slide, one piece of paper, one uh, sheet of something, but you have very limited real estate in a poster. Where you have to get a lot of information on the complete study or your complete project and you have to get all of that in a very limited amount of space and you have to get it out in a very short amount of time because people don't come by and spend a lot of time at posters or they make a decision really fast about whether or not they want to spend more time there. So you have to convey a lot of information quickly, or at least the critical information quickly in a poster, whereas in a report that's not necessarily as critical and definitely not in a presentation. You sort of control the time in a presentation, whereas in a poster it's, it's the medium that's controlling whether or not people are going to come in. If you're giving a report or if you're giving a, a presentation, that audience is coming to you for a specific purpose. You, you have like a captive audience. Here's how a typical poster session works. First, a conference organizer sends out a calls for papers. People who are working on projects in that area send in abstracts or what is commonly called extended abstracts in the engineering and science fields. They send extended abstracts in and they can request whether they want to have a regular conference presentation, it's generally 10, 15, 20 minutes of presentation time, or whether they want to give a poster. Sometimes the conference organizer will choose for the presenter. So what are some reasons why a person may choose to give a poster rather than a 15 minute presentation? There's a whole host of reasons. It could be because, well, they're uncomfortable giving presentations. They're too scared. They're shy. They feel uncomfortable with their abilities to present. Perhaps it's because they feel their topic doesn't really relate to the conference topic. Maybe it's because it's an incomplete project. They only have incomplete results at this point. Maybe it's because they um, are giving a follow-up uh, presentation or poster on a project that was presented at, a, at an earlier conf conference. Maybe the topic itself doesn't fit into any of the presentation topics, any of the session topics. Maybe it's because they don't have enough information for a 15 minute presentation. Maybe it's because the results are just inconclusive at this point. They can't say that much about it. Whatever the reason, it's not that posters are the bad stepchild of the conference. An older faculty member actually told me one time that posters are only when your paper is not good enough to be in a regular presentation. That's not quite the case. Posters are a viable means to communicate. They can communicate very well and some people choose them over regular presentations. Or sometimes a conference organizer chooses for them. But they are still a great means to communicate scientific information.